Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Deshaun Tharp. Thank you for joining me for this week's market update. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. So, last Friday, I did not upload the market update video so i will pick up from two weeks ago with our um hot sheet area which is this area right here um so jumping right in a recap from two weeks ago we had a total of 1111 listings with 856 properties being sold leaving us with a difference of 255 properties so skipping last week and jumping to today we have 1,174 total listings with 934 sold properties with a difference of 140 properties. If you've been paying attention to my earlier videos, we've seen the number of solds outnumber the amount of listings, but here lately, we've been seeing more listings than solds and the difference of properties are starting to even out. It'll definitely be interesting to see where the market heads to. So, um, two weeks ago, we left off with Zionsville area. So we can jump right in and see where they are now. They actually had 22 listings come onto the market um, with 16 solds. Um, that jumps to this week, 31 new listings with 26 new properties being sold. It's pretty even in that area, so not too much really to discuss on that. So let's take a look at Fishers. Um, two weeks ago, Fishers kind of broke even with 32 new, 37 new listings and 37 solds. This week, that number jumps to 23 new listings with 33 solds. Um, so it's, what that's telling me is it's looking a little bit stronger in that Fishers area, which could be driving that price up. So that's something to look out for. So let's take a look at this week's areas with Brownsburg um, in the past two weeks having 25 new listings with 29 solds. So it's pretty even in that area, not too much to report report as well. Um, Cumberland being our second area of interest, two weeks ago there was 14 new listings and there's 21 new solds. Um, just at a it's a high competition in that area um, due to there being more solds than listings, but we'll definitely have to wait until next week to see where that Cumberland area goes and how that trend turns out. So that's all for this week. Thank you guys. Tune in next week. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page and follow me on all my social media. Take care and I'll see you next week.